View of the way DNA is used in our justice system has currently been undertaken by the Law Commission. To tell us more, advisor Claire Tattersall joins us now from Wellington. Good morning, Claire. Kia ora, Hayley. Thanks for having me. Uh, so you're reviewing the Criminal Investigations Act. Um, why do we need this review? Uh, well, the Law Commission's job is to review the law and look at whether it's working as it should work. Um, so part of that process is finding out what people think about the law and how it works, um, and then we make recommendations to government to improve the law and make it easier for people to understand and access. Um, the Criminal Inves Investigations Bodily Samples Act was first passed in 1995, so New Zealand was one of the first countries that had a law about the use of DNA in criminal investigations. And one of the big issues is that 1995 was now quite a long time ago and science has changed. Um, a lot of the techniques that are possible now were simply never envisaged in 1995 when the law was passed and as a result the law has become outdated and confusing. Hmm. One of the issues is um, about abandoned DNA, which is DNA that you might um, be able to get off a, a water bottle that someone's drunk from and thrown away. Are we worried that police might randomly collect DNA and, and start pr uh, collecting a, a database? No, I don't, I don't think we're worried about that, but I think that the developments in science mean that a very small amount of DNA can now tell us a very large amount of information about a person. And it's really important that we think about who is on the DNA database and why they're on there, because the trend has been for increasing amounts of profiles to be put on the data bank, but um, we need to think about how to balance the use of DNA as a tool for, criminal, for criminal investigations with people's rights and interests in their DNA information. For example, how do we get it right in terms of the Treaty of Waitangi, privacy, um, tikanga. We just need to make sure that there's the avenue for police to use it as a tool, but we're balancing it appropriately with people's rights and interests. It is a bit uh, of, a, of a, a very sensitive issue with that, being able to ethnically profile someone off their DNA. Well, we know that there are some, some unconscious biases in the police against Māori and Pacifica. Are we worried that they, they might sort of attempt to chase crimes that they think have been committed by a Māori more? The risk with ethnic inferencing is that it opens the door to the possibility of discrimination. And so that's why it's really important that we think about these issues and hear what other people think about them so that we can make sure we get the settings right. Thank you so much for your time this morning, Claire Tattersall, the advisor from the Law Commission. Thank you. It is just coming up to quarter.